So today I'm gonna to be walking you through the brand new and improved wholesale scanner. So there are a few big differences compared to our previous scanner, but the main one is you now get unlimited scans included within your profitable subscription at no extra cost. So previously this was capped at 2,500 free scans and you could purchase extra one, but we wanted to get as many people using this great feature as possible. So firstly, let me explain the point of the wholesale scanner. So the wholesale scanner Scanner allows you to scan a wholesaler's or a manufacturer's product feed. So it may look like this, as you can see on the screen. So most wholesalers or manufacturers will have a product file which contains all of their products in. So usually what you'd have to do, you'd have to work through that file one by one trying to find the good deals, which as you can imagine takes a very long time. So with the Profitable Wholesale Scanner, you can upload the files into Profitable and we're going to scan that file for you and it's gonna save you a huge amount of time. So let me show you the actual basics of it. So all you have to do is head over to Wholesale Scanner on your Profitable account click choose file and that's going to bring our file into here and we can see a preview of the file with its headers and all we have to do is match the headers with the profitable headers so we've got the product name which is the same as the item name we've got the barcode which is the EAN which is the important code we need in order for this to work and then finally we've got the price and then we just put that into there and that's gonna give us a preview of all the products. It's gonna let you know if there's any potential issues which we're gonna remove the rows where there may be issues. And that leaves us with 1,400 products which we can now scan and Profitable will work through that for you. If you are using this feature, you're gonna to have to understand Excel files very well. Unfortunately, suppliers don't have a set standard for how they format their Excel files which does mean it may need some changing. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples of things you might want to do when handling your files from your suppliers. So this first file I'm gonna show you just here. The first thing we have to do is remove the extra space at the top of the file. So we don't need any of this space here. We just want our main headers in row one, so we delete them. Now the next thing we have to do is always uncorrupt the barcode. If we're ever touching files, you'll see the barcode here will have plus 10, plus 12. If we was to then save this file, it wouldn't work anymore. So all we have to do is we have to highlight this, go up here and click general, number. We'll go more number formats and change the decimal places to zero and then that gives us our nice full number. Now the next thing we want to do, and you don't have to do this, but it does make sense to just to prevent issues, is remove any columns which we don't need. So we know we only need the item name, the barcode, and the price. So let's remove anything we don't need. So we don't need the category, we don't need the retail price, because we've got the price there. We'll keep the name here. We don't need the brand, we don't need the manufacturer, and we don't need this code here. So all we're left with is the product name, the product price, and the barcode. And now you're gonna have no issues at all with this file, and you can upload it straight into Profitable. Now I've got another file here just to show you. The first thing we do is just remove any columns which we don't need. So we'll keep the name. We want to keep the unit price. So it's very important you check out what prices are actually on here as well. So we want the unit price, none of the others are important. It's also got the carton price, but of course we want to know our price per unit. And then of course we want our barcode and we don't need anything else. Now sometimes you might see text in here, which is probably worth removing as well. So to do this, all you have to do is head up here, source and filter. My list has headers barcode, smallest to largest, and then if we head down to the bottom, we'll just remove any empty ones or ones with text in. Obviously, if it's text, that's not gonna be a valid EAN, so that's not gonna work. And again, we can then upload this file without issue. Now, once the, once the scan is complete, all you have to do is click View Process Products, and you can see all the successful products. You can sort them by sales, you can sort them by profit, and you can, all, you can also analyze them further using the Scan button. Now you can only have one file processing at the time, but you can also view all your previous scans as well. 
So to do that, you just come into the jobs and you can view each unique scan here. So that's how you can use the Profitable Wholesale Scanner. If you do have any issues with files or any issues with just how it works, please do just reach out to our support. But we hope you find that feature help, but we hope you find that feature helpful and we hope you enjoy it.